깊은 구덩이에 여자가 거꾸로 매달려 있었습니다. 열 마리의 사탄들이 여자 생식기 안으로 20미터나 되는 긴창 10개를 한꺼번에 집어넣어 휘휘 저었습니다. 나뭇잎이 없는 앙상한 나무에 누에같이 생긴 열매가 매달려 있었습니다. 그 열매 안에는 벌거벗은 영이 마치 태안의 아이처럼 웅크리고 있었는데 뾰족뾰족한 쇠가시가 박혀있어 몸을 찌르니 피가 나고 고통스러웠습니다. 이곳은 자신의 쾌력을 조차 아이를 낳지 않고 계속해서 생명을 낙태시킨 자들이 많습니다. 생명을 해하는 것은 엄청나게 큰 살인죄이니 어서 회개하여야 합니다. Who do you need to apologize to? Who do you need to go look in the eye? Who do you need to say, I'm sorry, please forgive me too? For those of you that have been sinned against, who have you refused to forgive? Peter not only denied Christ, in Christ dying for his sin, to some degree we could say that Peter murdered his friend. And here his friend says, I love you. The Bible says that one day, 1 Corinthians 13, we will rise from death and see Jesus how? Face to face. Face to face. The key to overcoming sin is to get face to face with Jesus. What I love is that Jesus doesn't look at Peter and say, your real problem is you're a coward. Though that was accurate. He doesn't look at Peter and say, you have deep-seated fear of man issues. Though that's true. He doesn't say, you're a liar. And that's true too. Instead, he gets to the root and he looks at Peter. And Peter can tell in the face of Jesus that Jesus loves him. And so Jesus asks him three times, do you love me? Why does he ask him that question? Because sin is not just the breaking of God's laws. It's the breaking of Jesus' heart. When you sin, you're sinning against your friend. You're sinning against a God who loves you. You're sinning against a God who wants to do life with you. You're sinning with a God who, against a God rather, who, who calls you by name and, and treasures you as a friend. And so when Jesus asks him, do you love me? He is in essence teaching Peter, if you love me, you're not going to lie. If you love me, you're not going to deny me. If you love me, you're not going to be a coward. If you love me, you're going to live for the glory of God, not for the approval of others. See, friends, all of your problems in mind, they really come down to two things. We don't really believe that Jesus loves us, and we don't really love him. And even if we do, sometimes in a moment, we choose otherwise, and that's why we sin. So the key to overcoming sin is a friendship with Jesus, right? It's a friendship with the real living God who's not just an idea, but a person, a person named Jesus who loves us. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. And God said, let there be an expanse between the waters to separate water from water. So God made the expanse 
and separated the water under the expanse from the water above it. And it was so. God called the expanse sky. And it was evening and there was morning, the second day. And God said, Let the water under the sky be gathered to one place, and let the dry ground appear. And it was so. God called the dry ground land, and the gathered waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the land produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants and trees on the land that bears fruit with seed in it, according to their various kinds. And it was so. The land produced vegetation, plants bearing seed according to their kinds, and trees bearing fruit with seed in it according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them serve as signs to mark seasons and days and years. And let them be lights in the expanse of the sky to give light on the earth. And it was so. God made two great lights, the greater light to go with the day, and the lesser light to govern the night. He also made the stars. God set them in the expanse of the sky to give light on the earth, to govern the day and the night, to separate light from darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning, the fourth day. And God said, Let the water teem with living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the sky. So God created the great creatures of the sea, and every living and moving thing with which the water teems, according to their kinds, and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and increase in number, and fill the water and the seas, and let the birds increase on the earth. And there was evening and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, Let the land produce living creatures according to their kinds, livestock, creatures that move along the ground, and wild animals, each according to its kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals according to their kinds, the livestock according to their kind, and all the creatures that move along the ground according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, in our likeness, and let them move over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, over the livestock, over all the earth, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in numbers. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Then God said, I give you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit with seed in it. They will be yours for food. And to all the beasts of the earth and all the birds of the air and all the creatures that move on the ground, everything that has the breath of life in it, I give every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw all that he had made, and it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were completed in all their vast array. By the seventh day, God had finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and made it holy. Because of it, he rested from all the work of creating that he had done.